Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockCharts.com and you are tuned into a video edition of the Mailbag. And today we're going to show you how to use the Cycle Lines tool to count the number of days in a specific price move. And this can be helpful if you want to set your indicator parameters or you want to measure some different corrections to find the average length of a correction. So the first thing we need to do is access the cycle lines tool and that can be found on the chart notes workbench and this is simply the workbench that you use when you annotate a sharp chart. So here I've got the workbench open and if you look at the top of the workbench you're going to see a toolbar and there are a number of icons and the cycle lines toolbar is the icon with the vertical lines. And to put that on the chart, you'll click it to select, move to your starting point, click, hold that down, and then drag it to expand the cycle lines tool. So I've got the cycle lines tool on this chart and you need to select the move that you want to measure. And so in this instance, I'm measuring the decline from May 22nd so that's where I'll start the cycle lines tool to the end of this decline, which was on June 24th. And you can move this tool, expand it if you will, by clicking the little yellow handle at the top or the bottom. And you see the number changes when I expand it. It's now at 33 days. And now you can see that this decline from mid-May to mid-June was 22 trading days. And this can be interesting information if you want to measure, say, the other corrections and see what the average is. So how will we do that? Well, first we'd have to move the whole tool. And to do that, you would drag the handle at the bottom left, which is the starting point. It's a gray handle. And you would move it to the next peak. And we can see that that decline started in early August and it extended to the low. And we can see that that was 16 days. And then we have another decline here in mid-September to the early part of October. And that decline was 14 days. And so we can look at all these corrections and make an average to figure out about how long we should expect a correction to last. You can even do it for bigger moves. Say you want to measure a long advance. Well, we can start from that April low and we can open this tool up to that late October high and we can see that it is a hundred and thirty four days. So that's how you use the cycle lines tool to count the number of days for a price move and you can also use it of course to set your cycles. And that concludes this video on counting the number of bars. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.